Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, GPS lockouts. What GPS lockouts are, are basically we're going to use the phone's GPS to teach the phone to ignore certain stationary fixed uh, falses. So this is great for shopping centers. This is great for uh, drug stores, for K-band speed signs. Anything that constantly emits a uh, K-band signal, we can use the phone's GPS to tell it to ignore that frequency in this location. So here's how we do that. Um, let's go ahead and hit it with a K-band source. You can see the V1 is going full tilt. It's seeing the signal right now. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is set up the phone to uh, go ahead and lock that signal out using GPS. You can see it's got zero miles an hour, it's got north. Um, when the, when the um, satellite is green, it means I do have a GPS lock. So this is going to work. So to enable this, let's go ahead and go into our Yavi 1 settings. And we're going to go ahead and go into lockouts. Okay. And so I've got this setting right here. You're going to want to enable lockout, uh, K-band, and X-band. Okay. You can also do this for KA band if you've got some like KA band speed signs, but generally KA is legit and you're not going to want to, you know, be locking out KA stuff. So you can go in and change the radius of your GPS lockouts to whatever you like. Uh, you can go in and um, uh, do bulk lockouts. So if you're driving past a supermarket or a shopping center and you've got like seven, you know, falses, you can just lock out everything all at once. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. And then what we're going to do is the default is blue. Uh, when you've got a locked out signal, it's going to change the color of it and it's going to show a blue background. There's also some expert settings where you can really go in and fine tune the way the lockout system works here in Yavi 1. So, okay. So now we have uh, lockouts enabled and let's go ahead and lock a signal out. We got that. And all we do is just tap on a signal like that and it's going to be locked out. Okay, And now you can see that it's not actually muting the signal, it's still full volume. So what we can do, let's go settings, lockouts, and where was it, muting, muting alerts, cool. Uh, Oh, okay. And let's go ahead and enable this. Attempt to uh, automatically mute the V1. Okay. There you go. Cool. So once you enable that setting, automatically attempt to mute the V1. Uh, the phone can now actually tell it to uh, lock out that way. So pretty handy there. Go ahead and enable that. And now you can see that when there is a uh, K-band source that you get up to, it's going to go ahead and alert like this and then go silent. If you don't want it to display at all, you can actually slide over to the filter screen and it will not actually display the locked out signal. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock it real quick. Oops. There you go. Okay, so it comes back. Now if we go over it, you're gonna see that on the filter screen it shows uh, all signals that are not locked out. If we lock it out, it'll actually go away and it'll mute the signal. So if you don't want to know anything about the locked out signals, you can do that. And if you get a second bogey, an, you know, a new one, such as a police officer who happens to be there at the same time, on the filter screen, you won't see the locked out signal, but you will see the, uh, the new signal, the second bogey. Um, I prefer running on this screen because in those situations, I like actually knowing that, uh, you know, I can see that one, there's the locked out signal, and two, I now have my second new signal as well. And it just helps me know that, hey, the false didn't drift out of frequency. Um, it's actually a new signal. And so, uh, falses do drift, and so sometimes you'll have to unlock them, relock them, and you can play with the expert settings to change the way the lockouts work. But uh, I prefer actually seeing what's going on and knowing, and so I tend to run it on this screen here. Okay. And uh, in situations where you want to do a bulk lockout, if you've got brrr, a whole string of falses because you're at a shopping center, for example, what you can do, let's go ahead and unlock that. Oops. Unlock. Okay. So what you can do is in a situation, you can do a bulk lockout. And you do that by actually pressing and holding in this space here. And you see that signal actually got locked out. And then let's unlock it. 
You can also press the red button there. So that red circular button is going to be the bulk lockout button. So either pressing here or that red button will lock out all of the current K-band falses. So you don't have to go one by one and do each one and as you're driving some kind of come and go. So if you want to do it all at once, you can do that there. Uh, if you make a mistake and do that, you can actually, um, oops, that disables the GPS, but if you press and hold at the bottom there, you can actually undo the last lockout. Cool. So that's pretty handy. Let's say you're driving and uh, you're like, oh, I think that's a false, and you lock it out, but then you see, oops, it was a cop. Uh, you can just press and hold at the bottom, the menu pops up, and then you can undo that lockout even if the signal is already gone. So just to show you that. Okay, it's locked out. We'll let it go away. We're driving, 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 he's shooting instant on, and we're like, oops, that was actually a cop, my bad. Press and hold. We're gonna undo that lockout, and now when we reshoot, there you go. So, oh, it's interesting, it's muted, but yeah, it's not locked out. So, I go away. Cool. Okay, sweet. So there we go. There is a look at uh, using GPS lockouts with uh, Yavi One. Really handy. Uh, there's no way to automatically do it yet the way it works with uh, some of the Escort products that have GPS built in. So like the 9500iX, the Max, the STIR Plus, they have GPS lockouts and they're able to automatically learn uh, which signals are falses and over time we'll start to ignore them. That functionality is not yet available in Yavi 1. That is something that's being developed and is coming. For the time being, you do have to manually lock out signals like this.